Dr. Ramirez. I'm here in San Diego at the Scripps uh, Nutritional Meeting. Um, this is a, a very important meeting that talks about the importance of nutrients and supplements and so forth. It's organized by Scripps, which is one of the most important institutions in the West of America. And in this meeting, we are sharing the results from our depression recovery program, the residential version, in which 522 people um, so far are in our database. And in this uh, study, what we are finding out is that vitamin D is somewhat related to higher levels of depression. Those patients that at the beginning of the 10-day program had that deficiency, uh, did have two or three points higher levels of depression on average compared to those that did not have that vitamin D deficiency. What is uh, deficiency? Uh, well, there's many definitions. Usually the range for the uh, vitamin D, it's going to come between 20 nanograms to uh, 50. That's normal. Uh, a frank deficiency is called somebody that has 12 or less. About 9% uh, of our patients actually had the deficiency of vitamin D. And what we found out is that um, through the intensive lifestyle, inter uh, uh, lifestyle changes in those 10-day program, uh, the depression actually did decrease dramatically uh, if the person was deficient at the beginning of the program. Uh, the end level of depression is going to be uh, mild to the point of almost none and those that were not deficient by the end of the program they end up with none. Of course once we identify through blood tests that the person is deficient we had to increase uh, their intake up to 50,000 uh, units uh, three times a week. Uh, some of them in order to correct that vitamin D deficiency as soon as possible. So as you can see, it's important that if you suffer from depression and have a vitamin D deficiency, that you deal with that deficiency. Thank you.